Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, tablet that you received in the box with your package with the Talk Tablet Pro um, app software. Inside your case with came with in your box with the speech tablet, some instructions. And this will include on the back side a redeem code, which you will need once we get through this to install and redeem uh, for a copy of Talk Tablet Pro. So when you first turn on the uh, tablet, power is in the top right hand corner here. Press and hold it. So it says Samsung, this screen will pop up. And then we'll choose here, let's go. Uh, choose this, I have read everything, that's fine. Hit down the corner here, press next. Bring your old data for quicker setup. This is a brand new tablet, so you don't need to, you're not bringing from another other tablet or an older tablet. So we're just gonna say skip this for now. Hit next. Choose your Wi-Fi network. I've already connected to this one, to mine, but you touch on your network and then put in your password to connect. Press next. Checking for updates. And now it's asking you to sign in with your Google account. If you already have a Google account and this is, and you're going to be using this for your speech device, put in your Gmail account and password. If it's for a child or for somebody else or whatever, and you want to create a new account, and this option here is called Create Account. Your choices are for myself or my child. Always choose for myself. And there's a reason for that is this next screen pops up and put the name and that name, first name and last name. But if you put in a date, which will ask you for a birth date momentarily, if you put in a date that's less than 18 years old, you will not be allowed to install software onto this tablet. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to put in a just a fake name here. So first name, last name, press the next button. Now it may pop up with this to get a verification code sent to your phone. Uh, it doesn't always do this, it's kind of random. So you may have to put in a phone number here. Sorry, not right, David. It's going to text you the a verification number, and it starts with a G. And I've just received the text with that, and this is my redeem or my sorry my verification code. Doesn't always do this, but this is verifying, like it says, that you're not a robot. Now it's asking for the birth date. Again, we typically keep this generic because we don't think it's really anybody's business what your birth date is. So we put January 1st, 1990, and gender, rather not say. So we keep it very generic. Then hit the next button. These are your options for your, um, for your uh, uh, Gmail account, you can, or you can create your own. And so I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just pick one of these and then hit next. Now I want you to create a password. So we're gonna create a password and you can make whatever you want. You can add a phone number, your cell phone number if you want, you can, if you got lost your password or whatever, that kind of thing. But I'm going to say skip that for now, but you might want to add a, a, a phone number to it. Hit next. Privacy terms, scroll up, hit I agree. No backups found. So again, just press the next button in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, date and time, you can adjust it or whatever, and then hit next. Do you want to have a pattern to open up your tablet or a PIN number or a password? You can do that if you want. I'm, I'm going to choose not now. You can do that later. So do you want to skip protecting your tablet? I'll say skip anyway. So when I turn my tablet on, in this case, it will just start. I won't have to put in a code or anything like that. Uh, this pops up, Google Assistant. Scroll all the way up. Turn on the on button. Uh, 
Um, if you want to turn on the voice uh, assistant, which is pretty cool. So I always hit next because we want that. Uh, Google services, we can say scroll up and then hit accept. getting there sign in to a Samsung account you can do this or not do this <clears throat> I typically don't do it and I hit skip uh, Samsung wants to get a username and password and it has a backup thing if you want but uh, I t tend to just say skip not something we really need I'm gonna skip out on this yes let's say skip all done bottom right hand corner finish By the way, let me show you these three buttons across the bottom. The one on the far left, if you press that, it brings up a list of applications that are running, and you might have a whole bunch of that running at a time, and to close them, you just sweep it up. So we press that, and you'll see you have a whole bunch of applications running, you can sweep up, or you can press close all. The middle button here takes you back to the home screen, which is this home screen. So there's your, that takes you back to the home screen. And this is called your back button. So wherever you go, if you went into here, and you hit the back button, it'll take you back to where you were. So you can do that as well. Okay, Play Store, let's get started. Let's open up the Play Store. On the Samsung Galaxy tablets, the Google Voices are installed, but we want to update those. So we'll hit the Google Play Store. Do you want to stay in the loop? Just hit no. We don't want to join all these crazy things. Touch at the bottom where it says search for apps and the cursor will start blinking here and you want you want to type in Google space TTS as for text to speech and you'll see it show up here Google TTS text to speech engine touch on that look down here and you'll see right here Google text to speech oh let's bring it back up again Sometimes it'll do that when, a, when you first start using the uh, tablet because it's setting up all the Google Play uh, functions. Let's go back in there. Again, touch on the top where it says Google Play. That's the search box. Top up, type, touch up there. There's a the cursor. Type in there Google space TTS for text to speech and then choose it. You'll see it listed here, somewhere along here, wherever you see it, Google text-to-speech, touch on it. Then choose update. So what it'll do, it'll install the latest files for the voices, so there's better sounding voices, there's multiple languages, male and female. This is just one voice, and you'll see there's another video that we have called TalkTabletChangeVoice.com. If you go to that website, it'll show you how to add and change and put in different voices. I mean, there's some great quality voices, male and female, children's, different languages and dialects. But we're just going to install the uh, Google Text Speech for now. So it's saying waiting for download, and that's going to install, and it's going to take a few minutes. This steps can sometimes take quite a few minutes because if you look in the top left-hand corner, you see this down arrow that's blinking like this, animated. It means it's downloading apps right now. So what it's doing is updating the Google, the Android operating system, things like your calendar and various other different apps. So it's going to be downloading for quite a while, sometimes five or 10 minutes. Um, so that you need to just sit tight and wait for. And you're going to wait until this says um, installed. And this button will say uninstall. So at that point, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, Google text, text to speech is, is finished installing. And you see, it doesn't say installing anymore or looking for download. Now it says uninstall. So it is installed. Let's press this back arrow button here. Press it again. Now we're back in the Google Play Store and we have our search box at the top. We'll, and to the left of the search box, there's these three horizontal lines. Touch on that. That brings up the menu for Google Play. And if you scroll up, you'll see this says redeem here. We want to hit redeem. 
Before I show you how to install TalkTablet onto your tablet, what is critical is that you have a good Wi-Fi connection uh, to the internet to be able to download and install TalkTablet. It's nearly 300 megabytes in size, and if you don't have a good Wi-Fi speed, it just won't be able to do it because it's a pretty major app and it has some space. So this is the way to find out if you have a good Wi-Fi connection. You simply open your browser, Go into your URL line at the top and you're going to type in there fast.com. Fast.com. Touch it and then hit go. This will tell you the speed of your Wi Fi in your house or school or whatever. Um, I have very fast Wi Fi on a tablet. I'm at 100 megabits per second. Um, you, if you have less than five, you won't be able to install TalkTablet because it won't be able to have enough speed to download the symbol set and, and the whole program. So you'll need to move closer to your Wi-Fi router uh, or go to another location that has stronger Wi-Fi. Open your browser, go to fast.com, and make sure that says at least 5 or 10 megabits per second. Anything less than that, and you may have trouble getting the app installed. That's important. If you have any questions, please call us at 866-487-1006 and we can walk you through the installation or send us an email to talktablet at me.com, me.com. So now it's asking you for your redeem code. So redeem a gift card or promo code. So here's your email address. The code is on the back side of your piece of paper here. You'll see it on there. So I'm going to enter a code right now. Yours will be different, This and they only work one time. So once I put this code in, it would never work again. So there's my code. Again, it's printed on your instruction page that's inside your case, the carrying case for your, for your tablet. Once you enter in your code, press redeem. If you've entered in the wrong code, it will say uh, incorrect code, re-enter it. Okay, now it's saying install. So you press the install button and it will start installing. Waiting for download. Now we wait again. And we're waiting until it says open. Now it's finished installing. Uh, I have a fast Wi-Fi connection here, so it went, came very quickly, but you might wait for a few minutes. Next thing you want to do is press open. And now it installs the, the complete symbol library uh, for TalkTablet, which is important. So because of that, it's going to ask you to allow it to install photos and symbols onto your tablet. Hit allow. Do you want to talk tablet to record video and pictures? Yes, you want to do that. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to put pictures on your buttons. Do you want to talk tablet to record audio? You want to hit allow because talk to have it has the ability to record speech too. So you want that. Now it's saying it's installing. It's, it's, it's loading the images. Talk tablet includes all 30,000 of these symbol sticks, communication symbols, the, the whole library. And you'll see it's 171 megabytes in total. Uh, it'll download. And the key thing is, and this is why we turned on our display to not time out for five minutes, we don't want your, the display to time out during the installation of the symbols or you might, may not get the whole library installed. Uh, you could, have, if you want, from time to time, just touch the screen when this is installing to make sure that it doesn't go to sleep, your tablet, while it's installing the symbols because it takes some time and you don't want it to fall asleep during this process. So once in a while, just touch the screen, it keeps it awake. And it's installing so and it's completed so when it finishes it's going to pop up you can see talk tablet is, is ready to go and it's asking you which voice you want to use there's good voices from google and there's voices built into this tablet from samsung you want to touch on google text-to-speech engine and choose always so touch here and then choose always 
and now you have a voice. You can start. You can yes. stay. No. Now, if you want it yes. louder, on the side is volume. Press it once. This appears. Quickly drag down on it to enlarge it, and push media volume right to the top. Yes. Much louder. Let's do that again. Press the volume button up or down. That control box appears, but it doesn't stay long. Watch what happens. Gone. Sweep down in the middle of it before it disappears. Put media volume right to the top. Yes. Yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're finished. So we're going to hit the home button here at the bottom. We've installed Google Voices. We've installed Talk Tablet Pro. And you're not seeing it on this opening screen because you need to slide up. And there's the icon for it. Press on it and hold it and slide up here and you can lay it down anywhere you want on the screen. So there you have it. So we have Talk Tablet, we have Google Text-to-Speech Voices. Now let's choose a voice. Again, top right-hand corner, sweep down by touching the bezel, sweep down over here, and choose that gear, Settings. Screw, scroll all the way up until you see General Management, or sometimes it's listed separately, but Language and Input. You see the Language and Input listed there? Sometimes it's shown separately or not, but that's what we want. So choose that. Language and input, choose that. Come down here, it says text to speech. That's the voices, text to speech. Touch on that. Preferred engine. Right now, Samsung is selected, but we don't want to have Samsung. We want to choose the Google text to speech engine. Choose that. Go back. Now, there's a little gear here. And if you if you don't hit it exactly on that gear, you don't go into settings. If you hit gear, you hit right on the middle of that gear, you'll get into here. Um, we want to turn that on. We want to turn the volume up for the voices being louder. And most important, we want to touch here on install voice data. Here are all the languages, all the voices that are available from Google. So we'll come all the way down to English or whatever language you want. And I'm going to choose English United States. And we're going to choose this voice. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. So this this is an want. example of speech synthesis in English. Now, in the background right now, the Google Voices are still installing. If you came back and looked at this an hour from now, you would see when you went into here that there's going to be nine or ten voices. But those are being installed in the background right now. So I just wanted to show you how you get in there. Hit back again. And hit back again. And if you want to hear it spoken, just hit play. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And you're ready to go. So let's hit the home button. You're completely set up. I didn't take long. Um, again, this is how you start the app. Yes, no. Now, it's used a female voice, but we chose a male voice. And that's because we need to restart Talk Tablet and then watch what happens. Now it's restarting. Yes. Now it's using no. the voice we chose. So again, to restart Talk Tablet, to make sure you're using the voices you selected in the settings, press this button here, hit close all. So that really turns off Talk Tablet. And then when you restart it, it will go into the Google settings and figure out which voice you chose. And in our example, we chose the yes. And you're ready to go. Any questions, call us at 866-487-1006 or use our online chat function if you want or send us an email to talktablet at me.com. But with that, you are good to go.